for stopping to watch my video i hope you enjoy it it's actually another vlog for this month of may i plan to uh, release at least two for this month so this is the first of the two so i hope you enjoy it and if you're a regular visitor please do leave me a comment say something let me just know that you know uh you come here often and you're like uh, a part of the family you know and um and also for me to also you know appreciate you especially and also don't forget to subscribe you know subscribe if you like my content and you know you want to see more so subscribe follow me on my instagram page which is also high life moments and you can also follow me on high life beautician uh, facebook page because that also shares content there for and in future i hope to be doing like life makeup tutorial on there so please you know be sure to follow me there and share it with your friends who are also interested in the same thing in doing high life things or you know i like doing so okay um enjoy this video and comment 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 and i'll see you in my next one okay so yeah bye right right about now i'm gonna nip out to an entry to get me some food to eat i am gonna get uh one of my favorites which is like beans ewa going Bellu. Bellu. wait for it agege bread they call it it's commonly called agege bread in nigeria if you're from nigeria you know what i mean all right so i'm gonna nip out to get that that's one of my favorites but so uh, because i don't have any fruits in this house but tomorrow you know fingers crossed i'll go i'll go do some food shopping i plan to uh, i'll take you along hopefully and show you what i'm gonna get hopefully i'll show you what i buy tomorrow and and i'm also planning tomorrow which is friday i'm also planning to go to ikea you know since i moved into this house i've not really been eating well so and that's due to not having proper you know uh utensils and equipment like i don't have we don't have a microwave i don't have you know um freeze freezer so you know so it's you know really difficult to really like you know budget for food and eat properly i've been you know using that area you see that area over there what i can that's we have been basically using to prepare what i can you know basically eat you know been living like as if i'm on a i'm on a i on a uh what do they call them all these islands thinking for it all these forest islands thing so so that's what's been happening so hopefully i'll go to ikea and get some utensils anyway and see how i can just manage i have a little fridge there so I'll see how I can just manage that to use that to make some I probably have to just eat cook what I can eat you know as I go uh, as opposed to you know freezing them and keeping them in the freezer and stuff because I you know I like to plan even my food what I eat you know I like to cook things and you know sort of like just store them up in the freezer but you know I can't do that now hopefully next month end of this month which is May, end of this May, I might see, I'll get myself a fridge freezer, hopefully, fingers crossed for that, because I'm on a tight budget, you see, so, but um, that's what's happening. So, right about now, I'm gonna shoot off to go and get something to eat, because I'm really famished, and I really feel like having a while going, so, yeah, let's go. I don't know if I should uh, take the bus or walk down to this A3. It's not too far. It's just uh, in the area. So I'm gonna... I usually walk down. So I'm gonna walk down. Hopefully they'll still be open because it's late already. I decided to you know, go for a Chinese when I changed my mind. Um, actually what happened was when I got to the Nigerian A3, I wanted to get the food. They are closed, so they finish at eight o'clock. So they were, so I decided to go for a Chinese uh, restaurant instead. So I'm at the shop now. I'm gonna pick the food and head back. Speak here. Yeah. 
Is the spring growing and everything inside? The spring grow. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Cute. This is it. <laughs> you know, yeah, so I'm just gonna top right in. Join me. I've gotten some sauce with this food. It's really dry. So I've gotten some sauce with this. It's really dry. But it's nice. Mm. This is it's vegetable spring grow. It's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eat. Mm. And this is gonna be my starter before I dig into the before I eat the rice. I just had a little bit of this chili in it, just to give it a bit of, um, just to give it a bit of spice. And, yeah, still eating my spring roll. Right, um, people, it's now next day. I'm just waking up and I'm gonna take my makeup off. I went to bed with it because I was so tired after eating that Chinese yesterday. I was so tired. I don't know what was in it, but I was like, you know, it struck me to keep my eyes um, awake. So now I'm up this next day now so i'm gonna um first of all get rid of take makeup out so you see me you see what i used to do. i think you've seen this what i use how i get you know how i take my makeup off basically that's what i'm trying to say guys and <clears throat> 
given the way I'm feeling now, I feel really tired. I mean, it's nice and bright outside. It's nice and sunny. It'd be nice to, you know, catch a bit of that on my skin. It's vitamin D, isn't it? So, I'm thinking of going out and I'm also thinking of, you know, going to the supermarket. That's the outing. I'm, that's what I meant. Um, like yesterday, I was telling you guys, I wanted to go to Ikea. I need to get some kitchen utensils. You know, I'm thinking of doing that. And I'm also thinking of, you know, um, ordering them online. Save me the hassle of, you know, carrying too much things. Because, you know, I'm about... I, I don't like them too much carrying of stuff. If I'm driving now, it's different. But, um... To save me the to save that energy i might just something else i might just order the things i want online i just order my cooking utensils online other um uh do my shopping my food shopping online thinking of you know um uh maybe as now desco Oh, Iceland. I'm not sure. I don't know. One of these three, Sha. So, one of these three. So, gonna be one of these three. And I will definitely be needing to go out because, you know, I need to get some of my, you know, um, Nigerian food type of things. So, like, you know, the pepper, the, you know, uh, yeah, I can always get meat and things like that, but I always like to go to all these um, butcher uh, shops like slash mini, ma uh, mini supermarkets that we have here. So uh, I will still be needing to go out, but it won't be to get a bulk of what I eat because, I, I mean, your girl eats a lot, so and so i need to get something that will last me for the whole month so i'm thinking of doing that so and another thing i'm also planning on doing also is today to save time and i need to order some uh makeup online from shane i didn't realize they do like you know cosmetic as well so i saw you know i was just flicking through you know and i saw uh that they do so I'm, I'm looking to um do a review of their foundation and some of their products uh from the picture they look really nice so i like the fact that some of their foundation they've got uh you know uh, matting mattifying foundation and the um, luminous 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 you know what i mean <laughs> uh one as well so uh, it'd be good to try both so i'm gonna do a review of that so look at for a video, a review, uh, reviewing um, their foundation and some of their uh, cosmetics. I need a new blusher. I don't have any blusher, you know, because I've been from moving. I've lost all those things. So I need to restock on my makeup collections. And I'm going to be choosing, um, buying some from Shein just to try it and see. I, you know, I'm. For, for the price as well they look really affordable so why not so i'm gonna try their foundation and some of their cosmetics i need to get i like the fact they do they do correctors so i need correctors to correct to for my hyperpigmentation area in my on my face when i'm doing my makeup so so i'm gonna be buying some of that so watch out for that in the meantime i need to wake up i need a cup my a cup of tea to wake me up because if you look at my face very well you see that I, I feel sleepy. So I need a cup of tea to start this day today. To start the day. I just have to. Because if not, I'm just going to hop back into bed. And go back straight to sleep. So, yeah. Basically, how I get to take my makeup off as well. So, so I'm gonna start off with using my 
using my wipes. This is just a baby wipe sack, baby wipe I picked up from um, Power Stretcher. So, yeah. Uh. This is my mirror, Shaliwa. <laughs> I swear I need an assistant because. I just can't be asked. Yes, it's an assistant. What I did before I start taking out my wipes, because I find a lot of these wipes, you know, they're not wet enough. So what I've done is I put a bit of my toner or you can use micellar water if you, if you are, just to keep it nice and moist you know to my satisfaction you understand so i'm just gonna do that let's start with this So, okay, so that's what I'm doing today. So, yep, basic, basic. You know how to how I take out my makeup, so you want a nice moist wipe, you know, face wipes to do this. Because I find that if it's not moist enough, it's just, you know, it's a bit of a struggle. Because you want it really with a nice, moist wipes. And same thing, if you were, you know, going to use, um, Use it for your for wiping your baby's bum. You know it must be it must be a bit moist. So if it's not, just add a bit of micellar water. You're gonna be using it for your baby. And if the wipes is not uh, moist enough, just add a bit of micellar water because you know that one is uh, all skin is um, all skin tight. It's good for sensitive skin, so, so that you can get it, you know, you can clean, you can, you know, it will clean the face very well. And then gently, just gently wipe over your face with it, not. So. And that's the, I need to get my tea before I go on to the next stage of this makeup. Uh, take, taking it my, taking out my makeup and stuff. So.
right let me just get let me just um get my cocktail back let me take oh. There we go. Just got my tea. <laughs> uh, no. I've taken my makeup off. I'm gonna have my cup tea. The next thing I like to do is you know going with my um I'll just use one more. Just one more wipes. Just basic, basic, basic. There, I take off my makeup. Mm. In a basic way. I take off my makeup, so. So as I was saying, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna order some order for some of my food shopping online. And yes, the kitchen is there. So so yeah, so I think I'll do it online. We'll see. I see what's what's there. Yes, my other phone. Because you know guys, I'm using my phone at the moment to do all this. My blog. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Trying to save up to get a decent um, vlogging camera. I wanted to do that for a while now, but I really need a decent one. Can you recommend? Can you recommend one for me, guys? Can you recommend it like a nice, decent camera? Now I'm gonna apply my. I'm gonna use coconut oil. This is the one I got normally use I get I get this from Safers. So I'm just gonna apply that and that's it. While wow, my face is still damp. So that's the oil that should be locks into my skin. And also you know to keep me looking youthful that's just how i basically basically take out my makeup and take care of my skin after that and now i'm gonna have my cup of tea and we are going to start our day and this one's wanted to cool down a bit I, mean, I love this uh, toast though but you know i haven't got all that um um equipment yet so kitchen equipment yet so so i'm just gonna because i don't really like toast i like it sometimes if i don't have cereal in the morning i would like um i take toast and peanut butter for breakfast Two toasts and peanut butter for breakfast. But, you know, I don't have a toaster yet, so. Yeah, so. I'll just settle with just a cup of tea. And I'm thinking of going out for breakfast even. I'm thinking of going to maybe Tesco or Great Harry. And, you know, it's a bar where you can also eat. breakfast i've just finished up my cup of tea and i'm dressed i need to step out i need to actually make some inquiries i need to i need a solicitor because all my id has expired and last week i tried get collecting some money from from western union i had some money sent to me from canada by my brother who lives in canada and i went to pick you up from one of these um Western Union outlet and I couldn't get it. You know, they won't give it to me because my ID wasn't valid enough. 
my it has actually expired i was gonna use my driver's license it has expired so you know everything has expired i need a solicitor you know because without the solicitor's validation if i uh or someone it, someone that is a family member can't do it i think i've said something like this in my one of my previous vlog where i was actually thinking about so if you know i don't know what even if i'm trying to see i want to go back home now with 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 um, traveling documents i don't know why things have just become unnecessarily difficult you know i don't get it so i'm trying to see if i can get a solicitor to validate my um uh passport renewal my id and application so because so that i can you know do things i can't i can't pick up money from western union i need money my benefit money is not enough for me to live on because you know i've lost i've just moved home i'm not well and i need to pick that money up so i need to go get a solicitor to see if i can get them to you know um assist me so that's what i'm going to do now when i come back i'll do the shopping i'll do my uh, grocery shopping online as i said earlier so let me just put my makeup i'm gonna use this um white water white um high definition for my waterline uh I tend to like using white water you know white um eyeliner for my uh what i like these days i don't know what that's about but that's what i like to do these days this one i'm using is by remo uh the Ascando eyes collection I like to do that. <laughs> so that's that. So then I'm gonna do my lip stick and lip liner. In this um, very simple screw open, screw up lip pencil I bought from this uh, um, Peckham cosmetic thing. Is it? It's a cosmetic shop in Peckham. So I'm just <laughs> so then I'm gonna just put a lip gloss on uh, so right as well. So that's it. So I'm just going to go out now. I need a solicitor, like I said, because I need to, you know, this is just how my life, I just feel, you know, this is ridiculous. This is not me, I don't have like valid documents to move about. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show up now. Yes, I'm not wearing shoes, let me have those three. <laughs> so, okay. I'll see you guys outside. Um. <laughs> Hi guys.
guys i've just come back from my outing remember i told you i was gonna go out to try and see if i can sort out this my um sort out my documents because a lot of it is no longer valid my driver's license though it's provisional is no longer valid valid my passport is also no longer valid and you know i'm just thinking and you know just trying to do basic things like you know collect money that was sent to me i couldn't i went to a solicitor's um place in, just you know in the area in in, Pe in woolwich here and it turned out they have to know me for two years before they can counter sign my documents to validate it that doesn't make sense to me one bit but that's you know the guy was pretty you know acting very all smart when i was making the inquiry you know he even brought out the government and, and, and website to me saying that you know literally trying to make her like i was stupid but you know we all know that he's the one that is really stupid i should be able to walk into a solicitor's office i'm really really ticked off right now so guys you know because this is not now is becoming more than just the, meets the eye because he's saying that i cannot get you know people have to know me for two years before they sign my document i don't understand my uh, gp can't sign it at all went to a solicitor's office now a solicitor can't sign it i don't know who you know what else to do now does it make sense I don't think I, sh I need to know a solicitor need to have known me for two years just to counter sign documents with that. So anyway, that's how it went with this uh, issue of trying to sort out my documents. So, but I left there. I was going to, you know, um, video me, what I was doing, going there, but it was so brownie out there. It was so busy up in Bullish. It was so busy and people i didn't i didn't want to bring out my camera people would be on I, people were just getting on my nerves and you know and i was really i wasn't really i wasn't really up to it so for it because i was pissed off by what the solicitor told me you know he literally read you off from the government and from the government and website and i don't know i don't think that's that doesn't really Settle away with me. So, so that's how I went. So today, so when I left there, um, went and did a little shopping, got a few, a little things, just a few things here and there. And I bought my beans. See, this is it. It's finally remember this was how, what I was gonna have yesterday. They were going and the bread, the Nigerian bread. So um on my way back from where I went to, I I stop off at this the cafe like eatery, you know, because they close at eight o'clock. So I bought it from the eatery and I'm gonna have that now and then just call it a day. I'm really annoyed that you know the you know, to with the findings that I um with my findings with regards to getting my documents sorted so i'm really really ticked off and you know now i'm just gonna eat this and then call it a day so
Right, guys. Good body. It's morning, as you saw that I just finished washing my brushing my teeth and just basically trying to get set for today. And I'm just I'm gonna put this back away so I can have some space on my table to open some parcels I just got. I'm expecting more parcels, but the ones I have now, I think I'm gonna open them because some things in there I need to use. You know, I bought some things from IKEA, uh, eBay, and from Asda. So I'm gonna go through. So I'm going to put this away so I can have space. Right, let's get these parcels. This is it. This is all I've got. And I'm going to open them now. I'm gonna open them. Open them. Okay, I got some things from Boohoo. I think it's a nice thing. I don't know, my, one of my tenants have already opened it, but I'm going to open it now. Okay, so this. Okay, so here. Uh, let me sit down. Do this. So, yeah, I got some nighty. Some nice pyjama sets you know from Google. So I'm gonna be trying that. And who did I get? I went to I went to Superdrug. I went to Superdrug to get this to get my elf liquid eyeliner. I absolutely love this their eyeliner. That's this durable. It lasts so that's that. I also got this new Remo uh, range. Oh, it's all blue. It's like a, a press powder. I'm gonna be trying that. It's a powder I have. I find that it's not that pigmented enough. So I'm gonna try this with one of my look one of these days. So I got that from Superdrug. I think that's that from Superdrug. I got this. I got that also from Thailand. <laughs> yeah, I'm Thailand. So this this one I mean let me pop this here. This is from eBay. This person. What's it mean? I got the uh, I got a water jug. Yes, that's what it is. A water jug. Yes, this is it. I love, 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 love this. It says, hello, water. Water is the source of life. So I was drawn to that. That's why I got it. And I like the, the shape and everything. It looks really nice. So you'll be seeing me drink from that a lot. Love it. They have different colors. I'm going to get all the colors. I'm going to get a white one. I'm also going to get a pink one because, you know, just to alternate really so yes and this one is from george in asda i think i bought some underwear they're like brand new let's open it uh let me open it now okay let's just put it open yeah that's it got some breath on there I absolutely love it. This chocolate color bra. They are the only they are the, they are the only one that I literally do my size in this t-shirt bras. Most shops don't do my size size I'm 36, no 38C. So as I is the only shop. They have all the size. I absolutely love that about their shop. So this is what I got from them. Two sets of you know um t-shirt brows so yeah padding is just right don't like when the bra is over padded this is just perfect just need it to cover my nipples isn't it so this is just perfect uh yeah love the color quality is also good quality is really good just from me looking at it the quality is really good just from me looking at it so yeah I'm gonna be getting more from them. 
person, you know, that's that. And the big person, this, the box person is, uh, let's put on the bed. So, this big parcel here is from Ikea. So, it's from Ikea. Let me see. There's scissors and it's. Uh, where's my scissors? Ooh, there's the scissors. It's gone. Walk is open. Found it. Right, I just came out of place. I've got a few things in here. I've got a few things I bought from here. So I haven't finished buying things from. <clears throat> As I said, I'm expecting more parcel from Shane. You know, because you know, I got some cosmetics from them to to try to try because I want to uh, start collecting my makeup. Back. So I'm starting with you know, I street brand at the moment, and then you know, we are all about high street brand and I end on I like moments. Let me see. Okay. I think I bought a laundry basket. Yes, and some hand that. Yes. I remember now. Oh, awesome. This is really good. And I think I found this. That's what I bought to so organize my the makeup I have in that black bag by the windowsill uh seal that you guys see sometimes so i'm gonna use this to just organize my makeup still pending when i get my you guys call it vanity set but i call it self-love set so which is at my dressing table so i bought this yeah so it's just a piece perfect just to organize my makeup in to them and put it by the window still pending you know when I sort out my self love, uh, <clears throat> and I bought some white hangers from them as well. Uh, love them, and I'll be using them to hang my clothes. And I got some laundry basket. <laughs> yeah, laundry basket. So, <laughs> So that's really good. Just what how I expected it to look really. Because I but I on I didn't know it was gonna be this big, but it's it's big enough. And this is for dividing that fabric. That's the divider for that uh thing. So, so that's the laundry basket. So taking my clothes to their uh, to the washing machine upstairs in the kitchen because you know I can't be asked to be I can't be taking them you know with me plastic bag it just doesn't look right so and you know we are about um and I'm also you know because I you know I'm as real as, as I'm as real as feminist as you can get so i like to do things you know i'm very conscious of my femininity out here so, so that's why i decided to get this instead of just taking things in my i you know i feel it's proper to use a basket to take them to the uh to the washing machine upstairs in the kitchen because you know I'm just I think it's a feminist it's a feminine thing to do and that's why so I absolutely love them love this it's a good buy and then there's this handle as well to carry them with for just me it's okay for a, for a family I probably 
You could, you could do it in bigger ones, slightly bigger than this. But for just me, I mean, it's okay. What I can't fit in there, I'll just take it by my hand. <laughs> That's that with all of that packaging. So, okay. Done with that. And then open this. And this. This one. Just to tidy up that area. A bit. A bit. I still have a lot of work to do in this apartment. I mean, in terms of. I mean, that's. Well, with everything I'm going through at the moment, I don't know. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see. That. I want some of my things. That wardrobe, I'm even thinking of changing my wardrobe because, as I said, it doesn't really fit with the, the aesthetics of this that I have in mind for this apartment. So, we'll see. <laughs> Breakfast now and have a shower. 